Hello Coneheads, I want to talk to you today about a subject that's been uh, kind of getting at me lately. Um, let me just go ahead and start out uh, by saying I'm, I'm probably going to offend a lot of chivalrous people out there and I, I don't mean to, but I want them to see. Um, you know, they follow uh, a book that I have to admit, it's one of the greatest liter literary books I have ever read. I, I still read it today. But Dulcinea doesn't exist. You, you, f you don't understand that your chivalrous actions uh, are, are hurting the surrounding around you. You attack our windmills, uh, then you hurt yourself by standing up to a, a huge stampede of raging bulls and you completely doubt reality around you. Now, I'm not trying to offend you, but it's not real. Now, yes, uh, Don Quixote in his time, and I would like to say that I don't think that he is real either, affected a lot of people. That doesn't make him any more real as the, the totem pole you put him on. Totem pole. As the pedestal you put him on. Now, I, I know you're going to hate me, and some of you probably want to kill me now. Uh, and, and some of you are thinking, why would anybody want to kill you? Our chivalry is a chivalry of love. But that's not the way the world works. Some people take this stuff very seriously, and they want to go out and kill people in the name of this book that you so cherish. And... The book has a lot of things in it that might be considered as history, as literature, uh, and definitely shows the history of us as a civilization. But it's still fiction. And I want you to realize that. And, and I know that you want to stand up for Dulcinea, and, and you feel that your life would be empty without Dulcinea but she doesn't exist you know you might think that I'm just waking up from reality as Alonso Quijono did and but it's not that simple you know, a, a lot of you say that he came back and he's living among us right now. But I'm not talking about the person you believe in. I'm talking about you and all of you. All of you as a group are hurting society. And I know a lot of you don't go out and stand in front of bulls and fight with uh, people at the end uh, or bring down windmills, but some of you do. And you're promoting that insanity. Oh, I, I shouldn't call it insanity, uh, but it is. It's insane to believe that this book is real and that it should be followed in your life. You know, look around the world for once without looking through the eyes of a knight errant. The world is not so empty without Dulcinea affecting everything around you. This is Cranium on Empty. Just think a little. Don Quixote de la Mancha.